last night my daughter and I went to see When in Rome. And it's one of those movies about love and magic. And when I was a teenager, I used to love those kind of stories. So I got a kick out of it. You know, the two leads, they were young and very nice to look at. Long way to go in developing their acting skills. Now, Danny DeVito, who we usually think of, at least I do, as a comedic actor, he had some really fine moments in that movie. And you got to see what a good actor he really was. An interaction that happened between my daughter and me today, um, she hates having her neck touched. So today, I, she's had this cough, and you know, I went to, and she got all upset with me, and I apologized to her. And I said, you know, maybe in a previous life you were hung or maybe you were um, strangled. And she said, no, I used to have this nightmare where I was, um, my question is, was it that recurring nightmare that makes her not want to have her neck touched? Or was it something that happened in a previous lifetime that inspired the nightmare that also creates the feeling that she doesn't want to have her neck touched? It's the same kind of thing with Michael Jackson. Was it him that leaked certain weird stories about him so that it always drew some sort of tabloid articles? Or was it the articles that created unique experiences. Was he the motivator or were they the motivator? I received a PM last night from somebody and I responded back and I was I was uh, talking about grief and I was talking about how I reacted when my dad died and at the wake I was laughing and telling stories with old friends and I'm sure that people thought that was inappropriate. It could have been a coping mechanism for me to avoid the situation at hand. People um, that I know and love would like to see me get past this whole Michael Jackson obsession, but I can't let it go because there are just too many things that are strange about it. And it could be my coping mechanism. Uh, somebody left a comment on yesterday's video that I did. I think it was Kay Marie Gross, I think is her name, Kay Marie Gross. She left a comment about watching the MSNBC, The Secret Life of Michael Jackson. On MSNBC, I was able to bring up the transcripts and I was able to read what the story said. and. And I tried to leave two comments, and somehow it wouldn't allow me to leave comments. What I would have liked to have said about the show is, why did Conrad Murray record a video for YouTube as a message to his patients? Think about it. What kind of patients did he have that would actually be watching YouTube? I don't think so.